I am here to support Jen as she tries to figure out her relationship with Rishi and their pending engagement announcement. Wow, it's actually happening. Rishi is getting blindsided by Jen and her friends and their secret engagement is finally out in the open with his mum and uncle. But I'm not sure that I approve of how this has all gone down. I think it's safe to say Jen is going to have to face the consequences of her actions. Okay, so we know that Rishi's family finally find out about them this week. But before we jump in, I feel like we should talk about the post that Rishi made in response to all the hate that Jen's been getting after the episode aired. He makes four major points. Number one, Jen has been traveling to India since 2014, so she's very familiar with the culture. Number two, when he proposed to Jen, he led her to believe that his family was completely fine with him choosing his own bride and they'd be able to live in their own apartment, not the joint family home. That explains a lot about her expectations of him. Rishi's third point is he admits that Myra and Randy did him a favor by telling his family in this episode. He accepts that his family would have had issues regardless of when they found out. And his final point is he reiterates that Jen hasn't tried to change his culture. In fact, he's getting mad at all the people comparing them to Jenny and Summit. So that sets some context for what we're about to see. You see, a lot of people are very angry with Jen. They think that her going behind Rishi's back was very disrespectful. And while there's no doubt that Rishi put Jen in a desperate position where she felt she needed to go to these lengths, I think her revealing to his family is crossing a line. But with all this in mind, let's jump into the episode, starting with Jen trying to figure out just how honest Rishi has been with her. If his family confirms to me that Rishi's been lying, then that's it. This relationship is not happening. So Jen, her friends, and the translator arrive at Rishi's family home in order to meet with Rishi, his mum, and his uncle. Jen unashamedly asks Rishi's mum whether she remembers what they talked about last time, which she does. So then Jen continues, trying to explain that she needs some clarity on a few things regarding the arranged marriage proposals. I had asked Rishi some questions recently and I felt like maybe there was a little bit of a language barrier and I didn't understand, which is why I brought you today. Now, immediately, I'm wondering what on earth Rishi told his family this meeting would be all about. Why have all these people and this camera crew just shown up at their home? How does he explain and prepare his mum to expect all of Jen's personal questions? Like, why is she so interested in Rishi's love life that she's brought a translator with her to get answers to the questions? The whole situation is just absurd and his mum and uncle must have an inkling of what's going on. Surely, they must know that these two are a couple. It's so obvious. I just wanted to ask her how many girls they presented to him that he rejected. Now, right from the off, it becomes clear that Rishi actually hasn't been lying about the arranged marriage proposals. But he also hadn't properly articulated and explained to Jen just how casual this whole process was. I now understand that this actually hasn't been like a formal process. It's just sort of talk. Looking back on the restaurant, now I feel bad that I didn't give Rishi the benefit of the doubt. In reality, rather than an arranged marriage proposal as we would think of it, this was more like families putting out feelers to see if there was any interest before formal conversations begin. They were testing the water, so to speak. So why does Rishi's mum think that she's being asked these questions? Good. 
I feel really bad for Rishi's mum here. We know she desperately wants him to be married, and I'm guessing that she probably thinks all of these antics might just be the answer to her prayers. But I don't think she knows what's coming. I don't think she'd ever predict that Rishi would propose to a foreign woman without telling her. But Randy is more than happy to break that news to her. I am here to support Jen as she tries to figure out her relationship with Rishi and their pending engagement announcement. To be honest, I wasn't sure that this day would ever come. And while Rishi is sitting in the middle petrified at the reaction, I can't help but feel relieved that the secret is finally out. Look at Jen's face here. She's basically saying to Rishi, you made me do this. But while that may be true, Jen, did you have to do it with your intruding friends by your side? Could you not at least have given Rishi some warning so he wasn't completely blindsided? If the translation wasn't there, I would be the person translating and I would change the topic instantly. But I don't know how to stop this conversation. I just want to put those words back in the Randy's mouth, but I can't. And I'm just speechless. So while Rishi's Instagram post defends Jen, saying that she's fully in touch with Indian culture because she's been traveling in India since 2014, I can't help but feel that if she was really in touch with Indian culture, she'd know just how bad and just how disrespectful this really is. This just isn't how it's done. This isn't how you break news of your engagement to an Indian family. To any family, in fact. At least do it yourself. Don't hide behind your friend. Can you imagine just how much more impressive this would have been if Jen had revealed that news? Heck, imagine if Jen knew a few words. Imagine if she could converse a few sentences without the need for a translator. Don't you think his mum and uncle would have looked upon her so much more favourably? Wouldn't it have come across as so much more respectful? Jen and Rishi have some I think Rishi's face says it all. This is his living nightmare. It's such a big and shocking announcement. And for Jen to put his mum in this position and doing it on TV so she can't even react naturally for fear of looking bad. It's so unfair and it's such a bad way to start a relationship with his family. But. Jen's not thinking about the future. She's only thinking about right now. In that one sentence, they're not only dropping the bombshell that they're in a relationship, they're also revealing they're engaged and that they don't plan to live with his family. It's almost callous at this point, especially with Jen sitting and smiling on the couch the whole time. Jen's actions are cowardly. She's hiding behind Randy, the translator, and the cameras. Each of those people are acting as a barrier between herself and Rishi's family so that they can't hurt her feelings. But what about the family's feelings? Rishi's mum and uncle are absolutely shell-shocked. It's obvious they don't know how to react and they're still processing the information, but they've got cameras shoved in their faces. These are foreign guests at their house and their instinct is to act politely. But that means their true feelings aren't going to be expressed until everyone has left. If he likes her, what can I do? Rishi's mum is trying to be positive. How else can she react in front of everyone without feeling embarrassed? The girls and even the translator all fall for it. But look at Rishi's face. Even though his mum is saying it's fine, his body language suggests he knows it's not that easy. Now, with some prompting, Rishi's mum is asked, do you have any questions? Is there anything you're worried about? To which she responds, That's a very good question, yes. 
That's a very lame response from Jen to a very valid question. Rishi's mum admits that she needs to talk privately about what's just happened. Okay, she bat karne please. Ha, okay, okay. And then Randy jumps in to speak on behalf of Jen. This meeting was not about an immediate answer. This whole situation is about Jen. It's happening because of Jen. Yet Jen refuses to take part in what's going on. She's choosing to hide behind everyone else. How on earth could you expect him to be happy right now, Jen? You've thrown him under the bus. You've blindsided him. You've upset his family. Not only that, but you've shown a distinct lack of trust in him. The only good thing about this whole thing is that the truth has finally come out. But give the man a minute to process it. But on other hand, I trusted Jan because I thought she would understand the importance to waiting till August, but she didn't listen on my decision. And I know we put Rishi in a tough spot, but even if he is upset, I think he'll get over it. Look, it's one thing to not care about Rishi's feelings, but it's a complete disregard for Rishi's family's feelings that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Maybe if it just involved the two of them, I wouldn't care as much, but Jen literally isn't even thinking about how Rishi's family are feeling at this moment, and that isn't a good look. Uh, he's saying that he's a little shocked that, you know, it's come out and all. I am relieved, though, that, you know, she's accepted. You're so, relieved? Yeah, he, he was accepted. He Don't was you feel better? Say. A little bit better? Yeah. Jen and her friends are treating Rishi like he's a child. He's obviously going through some complex emotions. Shock, hurt, excitement, relief and fear. But Myra's voice saying, don't you feel better, reminds me of a kindergarten teacher forcing two kids to apologise to each other. It's so patronising. Jen's friends are just talking down to him, acting like they've done him a huge favour. So what about Rishi's uncle? Does his uncle have any issues with the relationship? Jen reveals that it's her dream to live in Mumbai with Rishi. And perhaps that may have been a good move for them. If his family wasn't so dependent on him. Mumbai is a financial centre of India. It's a huge city with lots of expats and probably lots of opportunities for Rishi's modelling career. But that's not what Rishi's uncle wants to hear. He's more concerned about what that move would mean for the family. How would they get on without Rishi there to help? If he leaves, there'll be nobody to take care of them. Yeah, And it's yeah. difficult for them. Okay, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know what to say. Jen came in pretending to be this strong, powerful woman. But when it came to answering the difficult questions, she fumbled and looked to Randy to save her. She wants to take Rishi away so that they can live their own lives, but she doesn't want to face the consequences of those actions. Instead, she politely excuses herself and her friends under the pretense of allowing Rishi to talk privately. But in doing so, she's passing the buck on to Rishi. The burden is now on him to explain to his uncle that Jen wants to leave. But was Mumbai ever something that they discussed? So with their guests gone, how does Rishi's mum and uncle really feel? They leave it. So the thank you up to. As expected, they're not as happy as they may have let on. Rishi's mum has a big issue with the fact that she can't even converse with Jen. And Rishi's uncle feels unprepared for a foreigner to join their family. Now, you'd think that Rishi would know his family well enough to expect these kind of questions. He should have known that what they said probably wasn't what they were really feeling. But instead, he questions why they were okay with it in front of Jen, but why they now appear to have changed their stance. Sorry, can we play back Rishi's mum's face? Even she can't believe how dense her own son appears to be. 
And you know what? She's absolutely right. She never said she approved of their relationship. In fact, she never even said that she accepted it. What she actually said was that she feels happy. But what else could she have said in that moment? It seems that both Rishi and Jen interpreted that as meaning that she accepted their relationship. But that's absolutely not the case. Especially not until she's consulted other members of the family. Now, Rishi understands what this means. To get the blessing of his wider family is not going to be easy. In fact, it may be almost impossible. But if Rishi thought he faced an uphill struggle before, just wait until he hears his uncle's next question. Jain ki umar kitti hai? Oh dear, there likely goes any dreams of Rishi one day having kids, which to many Indian families is critically important. The hesitation and the time that Rishi took before answering that question indicates he knew what a big deal this would be. But it's not just kids that are the issue. Age gaps that large, especially where it's the woman that's the elder of the two, just aren't seen or accepted within Indian culture. Jen's age has become an absolute deal breaker for Rishi's mum and uncle. There is no coming back from that. They think that the relationship will bring shame on their family. They worry that their entire community will make a laughing stock out of them. And Rishi's mum is embarrassed to even ask their family to consider Jen because she knows that no one will support this relationship. <laughs> It seems like Jen's age is being used as the number one reason why this relationship can't happen. But the truth is, I think that Rishi's family have a lot of issues with her. She can't speak the language, she won't live with them, she won't be the daughter-in-law they were hoping for, the one that would take over the household duties, and she probably can't have kids. But it's easier for them just to point at her age and use that as the reason why it's so inappropriate. The age matter from the beginning is going to be a big concern. That's why I wanted to like uh, spend more time. The conversation with his family has left Rishi devastated, but he's contradicting himself here. He says that he knew this whole time that the age issue would be a problem. So why then has he delayed breaking this news for over three years? Jen's not magically going to get any younger. He's only making his life even more difficult. And his recent Instagram post acknowledges that his family were always going to react how they reacted, even if he'd waited the extra couple of months to break the news in August, as his astrologer friend recommended. But it seems like Rishi was desperate to believe that this relationship stood a chance, when in reality, it was doomed from the start. Jen, like, a, she loved me so much and... Uh, she moved here like a, she did a lot for me. I feel sorry for Rishi, I really do. But I feel like his defeatist attitude, the fact that he's already given up, is very telling. This has literally been the first conversation, it's ground zero. But he's already folded. He's known this entire time that he's going to need to fight to win his family over. But it seems like at the very first battle, he's already surrendered. And what makes this even worse is we know that Jen wants a man who's going to fight for her. I think about like my brother and I'm like, he would kick a door down for his wife. But I'm like, is that just like an American thing? So will Rishi rise to the occasion? Will he become the man that Jen wants him to be? Or is he going to use this as a reason to end the relationship?